this is amazing. Now we are going to see about Prezen AI user interface. We will also see how you can integrate this with Grok, Olama and LM Studio. Using this, you are able to automate tasks, increase your productivity by automatically generating AI agents to do your repetitive work. In this, you are able to modify AI agents, add custom tools to those AI agents. Here is a user interface where you can store all the history. That means your conversation is stored. You have settings to choose whether you want to use crew AI or autogen. You are able to use any large language model by changing the endpoint and providing the API key. We can automate the task, such as if I want to design a fantasy world, I just give the task and this will automatically create the required agents. And finally, you'll get output like this. So the question we asked is to design a detailed fantasy world. And here is a clear output. And this browser, the backend, it automatically created the agents such as world builder, culture developer, world designer, and then it gave output like this. Even if you want to research, let's say, research about the cause of lung disease, and then click enter. This can again automatically create those agents and it will give a detailed output like this, such as lung disease causes, a comprehensive analysis, and you get a detailed report based on that. So with just one agent, the quality is going to be less, but with multiple agents, the quality is going to be higher, which we saw that from one of the paper recently released, Mixture of Agent, enhances large language models capability. That's exactly what's happening here. So the output from one agent is sent to the next agent and the output from the second agent is sent to the last agent. You can even add multiple agents in this loop. Also, there is one manual mode. So in this, if you choose manual from the drop down, then you are able to see exactly what's happening behind the scenes with all the detailed instructions. So if you want to modify this description, you can just click modify. Then you have settings here, click on that. Then you should be able to modify here. You can even add your custom tools here. So this is the internet search tool. I'm just going to copy this and then paste it here. So now I can use this internet search tool and give that tool to one of the agent here and confirm. Now we are ready to run this. Click on run. Now the researcher agent is going to use the internet search tool, as you can see here, to search the internet and give you the final output. Finally, you can see the tool which we added here and also the output after searching the internet. This will be more relevant just because it used internet search to find this detailed report about the causes of lung disease. It's giving me different pattern, correlation, conclusion, recommendations, and much more. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Prezen AI user interface. In this, I'm going to take you through step-by-step step how you can install the tool, give you a quick overview, go through a demo, and finally, how you can add custom tools to this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First, we are going to see how you can install this tool. Just in your terminal, pip install Prezen AI with the brackets UI and then click enter. This will automatically install the user interface required. Now next, we need to type chainlet create hyphen secret and then click enter. This will automatically give you a secret which you can copy and you can just export the same value and then click enter. You can also copy and paste this value in the .env file, but this is optional. Now we are ready to run. Just type present AI UI and then click enter. This will automatically open this user interface. We are using chain list as our main user interface. For now, I'm using default username and password, admin, admin, and then continue. You might need to change this for more security. But just for demo purpose, I'm using this. So after this, you have at the bottom settings. Click on that. There you should be able to enter your model name, base URL, and the API key. Here I'm using Grok, Llama 370 billion parameter model, and type your API key here. And the framework which I'm going to use first is Crew AI. After this, just click Confirm. Now we can try any of these recommended things, or you can type your own. For now, I'm going to try one of this. Develop a new board game clicking on that and it automatically gave me this output at the back end it automatically created agents as you can see here first it created game researcher agent so it's using crew ai then it researched about the games and then game designer who's designing the game and then we have game writer who's going to write about the game and finally we got a detailed output 
as you can see in the screen. The different components, scenario overview, gameplay, round one, and much more. Now, one more thing, you can see that there is auto mode here. So this is used when you don't want to modify any of the agents you create. But if you want to modify agents, click on that and go to manual. So it's asking create a new chat, confirm. And here you can see automatically it gave the list of agents which it ran just now. So first it ran game researcher, game designer, and then game writer. Now I want to modify this. So at the bottom, if you see, it's asking me to pick an action. So I'm going to modify that. If I click run, it'll automatically run. But I want to add a custom tool now. I want the first game researcher agent to have the ability to search the internet. So it can give much more latest information or research about the latest games available. And then accordingly, it can generate the response. So now I'm going to click modify. And here it says modify the agents and tools from the below settings. So you can see the settings here. So I'm clicking that. Here at the bottom, you can see the tool section is empty. So this is the internet search tool and you have multiple tools available. I'll put all the information on tools in the description below. So you don't need to write any code. You can just copy and paste it. So I'm just copying this internet search tool. This is using DuckDuckGo search. So you might need to install DuckDuckGo search by using pip install to get this working. I've already installed that. But based on your tool you use, you might need to install the packages accordingly. So here it's pip install DuckDuckGo search, just for information. Copying the code and pasting it here. So the name of the tool is Internet Search Tool. I'm going to give that to the Game Researcher agent. So you got the tools here, just pasting it and click Confirm. Now I have added the tool. Now I'm going to click Run. As a quick overview, the YAML file or the list of agents got printed out on your screen. So you can see the tools which we added is Internet Search Tool and you can see it's running. Now I got the response and now the response is much different from what it was before. The number of players, three, and setup, round one, player interactions, mid game, end game. This is really exciting and it takes our productivity to the next level. Now I can even change this to Autogen. Just click this icon. Here is a framework. I'm going to click that and click Autogen. And then at the bottom, I'm going to click confirm. That's it. I'm going to run that again. At the back end, you can see it's Autogen, user, game researcher, and it's function calling the internet search tool and the internet search tool that is DuckDuckGo search returning these response as you can see here. So you can see the list of queries, list of innovation board game mechanics used by the internet search tool. Then another internet search, innovative board game objectives. So this Autogen is using multiple tool call and trying to search the internet for more details. And finally, you get this output with scenario, starting situation, turn one, turn one, turn two, turn two, and this is from Autogen. Now it's easy for us to run AI agents or create AI agents and give some tools for them to perform well. This is just the beginning. We are going to develop more from here. And finally, I want to show you how you can integrate chat history for this. To do this, you might need to log into literal AI and create an API key because this platform is going to take care of all the storing the data and retrieving the data. So in the general tab, you are able to generate your API key. This is how you integrate that with Grok. By clicking the settings, just enter the model name and the open AI base URL, and then your API key, and then click confirm. So this is how you integrate this with LM Studio, with the localhost 1234 slash v1, and provide a fake key, and put the model name here. If you're using Olama, add the model name here. This is the base URL, localhost 11434 slash v1, and enter a fake key here. Choose the framework and click confirm. Now I'm going to show you how you can run with Olama. So after this, I'm just going to click confirm. I've already downloaded Olama and in my terminal, Olama pull Llama 3 to download the Llama 3 model. Then you can start Prezen AI UI and double check the settings and then click confirm. Now going to give a basic task in the auto mode. And finally, here is the output generated completely locally on my computer using Olama. After this, in your terminal, I'm going to cancel this by pressing Ctrl C. Then export your literal API key like this and then click enter. Now type Prezen AI space UI and then click enter. And now if you see on the left hand side, you have all the history. You can just click and view what we have just done before. First one was the crew without internet search, then with internet search, then with autogen. You can even continue your conversation by clicking resume chat. It's always good to start 
with auto mode so you can give a custom instruction and then go from there do let me know in the comments below what you think about this i'm really excited about this i'm going to create more videos similar to this so stay tuned i hope you like this video do like share and subscribe and thanks for watching